Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Surveyor 252 RBLE. This camper comes in at 29 feet 7 inches and weighs right at 5,800 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED light so you can see at nighttime when you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Has the hard shell cover with the quick access lid. Directly behind that with the red switch is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to your battery. And then beside that is for a tire pressure monitoring system. Diamond plate rock guard. We have your curved radius front end with the built-in windshield as well. Couple unique features with Surveyor. They are all aluminum frame, including the rafters and the floor. And it is a laminated sidewall and laminated floor as well. We have aluminum construction around all openings here. Full pass through, lots of room there. We have the motion sensor light. Also an adapter for a cordless screw gun for your jacks. We have four manual jacks, two in the front and two in the back. We have this huge 20 foot power awning with the LED accent light underneath it. Uh, each leg is adjustable so you can adjust the pitch of the awning if the sun's coming down and simply take it right back up. As we move to the back here, we have your sturdy steps going in. They also have this uh, light underneath to help illuminate the steps at nighttime. Oversized grab handle. We have the full-size tempered glass entrance door. It does have an integrated window in it there and a full-size screen door as well. As you can see, for a limited time, Surveyor is adding an additional 200 watts of solar. So typically, they only come with 200 watts. Uh, we don't know how long this run will last, but as of now, it is going to have 400 watts of solar on this model. We have your outside speakers that light up blue, porch light as well. Down below here, we have the center cap popped off. These are quick, easy loop axles. All four wheels are going to have self-adjusting brakes and Goodyear tires. It is also going to come with that tire pressure monitoring system. So you can keep that in the cab of your truck. Keep an eye on your tire pressure in real life time as you're traveling down the road. Back here, we have your outside kitchen set up. We have the griddle right here, a water station. We have your water hose and the sink for that and your refrigerator right behind it. As we move to the back side, we have your four inch tube bumper to store your sewer hose when not in use. We have a two inch receiver, so you can include that with a bike rack back here. Spare tire with cover. Up top, it is prepped for a backup camera uh, and also your ladder. Actually on the right hand side is for a roof ladder and also prepped for a backup camera there. The ladder is also additional if you wanted to add that. This is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the weekend, you hook up your water hose here. That'll blast out the tank for you. If the campground offers cable and satellite, you can tap in right here. And then your city water connection. So you would hook up your water hose there and that'll pressurize the water lines for you. As we move in front of the slide room here, we are gonna have your fresh water fill. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you simply fill up your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump and use that water. We have your on-demand water heater, which is gas only since it's on-demand, but about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. And you're only using gas when you're running hot water. And last but not least is gonna be the other side of your pass-through storage here. That'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Surveyor 252 RBLE. And now we'll take a look at the inside. All right, as we move to the inside here, you'll notice this is a nice open floor plan. It really checks off a lot of boxes for people. Surveyor does a great job incorporating um, little items here and there, giving it a nice home feeling as well. And we'll go ahead and start right inside the entrance door here. Right at the bottom, you got a couple extra hooks to hang your keys on. We have that bottle opener with the Surveyor logo. Above that is kind of your main control panel for the lights. Run your awning in and out and your slide room in and out as well. And right up above that, we do have your solar controller. Since this particular model has the 400 watts of solar. Overhead cabinets. We have a large kitchen window, high rise faucet, large sink there. Tons of storage down below. It also has a central vac with the camper. It has the tow kick down below, so you just simply lift that up and sweep right into it. There is also 
an attachment bag that comes with it with all your hoses for the vacuum. We have your oven, three burner stove top that has the glass cover so you can use that as prep space if you're not cooking. Directly behind it, we have a cup here for your utensils that actually comes out. It's got the Surveyor logo. Um, another really cool feature with Surveyor, we have this cutting board here that doubles as a backsplash. And if we take that off, we'll move it over here to the sink area. And you'll notice that is also a sink cover. So really great thinking by Surveyor there, incorporating that. We have your microwave up above with your range vent that will vent to the outside. This does come with a 12 volt refrigerator. The 12 volt refrigerators are much deeper than the gas electric, so they don't need the same ventilation system. So as you can see, this one goes all the way back, giving you lots of room in here. And underneath the refrigerator, we have your breakers and fuses. And the furnace itself is also ducted through the cabinetry here. And just before we go back to the bathroom, I did want to point out this walk-in closet, or I'm sorry, walk-in pantry here. And we will open this up. As you can see, it truly is a walk-in pantry. We have all this extra floor space down below. Several shelves in here and tons of room up top as well. It includes a motion sensor light and also a couple hooks over here for more hanging storage. As we move into the bathroom area, again, more hooks up top there for your towels. On the left-hand side, you'll see those two large double doors. That's a lot of storage in there. We'll get to that in just a second here. Toilet straight inside. Right beside the toilet, we have a 110 outlet and also your thermostat for the on-demand water heater. That's where you can turn that on and off and adjust the temperature of your water. On the front side, this camper is equipped with 12 volt heating pads on your holding tanks and you can turn those on and off individually on each tank. And then we have your tank monitors and your water pump switch over there on the right hand side. More storage down below. We have your sink area. Medicine cabinet up top. Got nice storage inside of there. Three shelves. And in the shower area, we have your skylight up above. Large shower here. Got the hose that goes in here, hot and cold. We have the T handles here and the shower curtain is awesome. It will pull straight across and it will keep the shower curtain nice and tight. That way you're not fighting the shower curtain. And when you go ahead and put that away, it has a squeegee inside to keep the curtain nice and dry as well. And now we will take a look at the storage with these two doors. You can see all the hanging storage on the left hand side here. And then on the right hand side is going to have built in shelves. So tons of storage in the bathroom area. As we move back out to the main living room. This will be directly across from the TV. We have your theater seats. We have some nice decor right above it, a digital thermostat for your air conditioner and furnace, light switch and some cabinets up above. In the slide room area, we have your decorative light, your booth dinette that has storage underneath each seat that will also break down into another sleeping area. With the entertainment center, storage down below, we have your stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible. So you can sync your phone to it and play music that way. This ledge right here has a live, a live edge and a real wood look there. And your TV is also included with this model. 
I also wanted to point out on the ceiling of the slide room here, you'll notice that is a different color. It is the gold to match their accent in here with the gold and brown colors. They've done a great job. Color coordinating gives it a great look inside. Up in the bedroom area, they use a real queen mattress. It is a 60 by 80 mattress. On both sides of the bed, you're gonna get a 110 and 12 volt charge port. Underneath the bed, we have some drawers at the foot of the bed here. Drawers on both sides and extremely tall hanging storage as well. Cabinets up above. We have your windshield that has the blind pulled across. On both sides of the bed, it's gonna offer this cubby storage with 110 outlets and cup holders back there. Again, the same hanging storage on this side, drawers down below, and you will get a 110 and 12 volt charge port on this side. There's also another place to hang a TV in the bedroom if you wanted to. We have your connections up top there. And then last but not least, this is gonna be a sliding door coming into the bedroom from the living room area. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Surveyor 252 RBLE. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.